Welcome to Blender. In this video we're going to be making a, a signpost that you can stick outside of your store when you get one um, using some of the tools in edit mode. So to go into edit mode we hit tab and we start out with our cube here. Um, we're going to be using, let's see, extrude region, inset faces, bevel, and loop cuts. So to start off I'm going to bevel this cube. I'm going to go into face select mode and hit control B and bevel a little bit. To bevel, um, you just drag and it starts out with one, one cut, so you roll your mouse wheel to make more cuts. So we're going to go about there. That way I have a nice place to extrude here. I'm going to go back in object mode and delete this camera and this light. And back in edit mode with tab. <clears throat> so I'm in face select mode. I'm going to grab my top face here and I'm going to hit one on the number pad to go in the front view and I'm going to extrude it up. And if you can't extrude far enough, once you once you uh, confirm it, you can hit GZ and move it up some more. So I want it about there. Once it's there, I'm going to make a little top to it. So I'm going to extrude up a little bit and then I'm going to scale it out. Extrude it up, scale it out, extrude it up, probably about there, and I'm going to screw it again and scale in. And one more time. And maybe one more. We'll, we'll make a longer one. Screw it down. So we got a nice little top there. It's actually a very large top. <laughs> so we can uh, go into x ray mode and scale it on the Z. And just bring it down a little bit. That looks a little better. Um, back in the edit mode and I'm gonna add a loop cut and drag it up and I'm gonna drop it about right there. Now I'm gonna go back out of x-ray mode with Alt Z and I'm gonna select this front face here and we're gonna use inset which is I and I'm gonna inset it in a little bit. I'm gonna scale it on the Z to make it more square back in the front view by hitting one on the number pad and I'm just going to hit E and extrude it out uh, to about there. And that's a cute little pole. So now I'm going to go back in object mode and we're going to make a um, torus for the rings of our sign. So to make a torus we're going to hit uh, shift, shift A mesh and go to torus and it puts it down there. I'm going to open my operator panel and I'm going to move it up and over so we can get uh, where we want. So if you go to the Z and move it up, you can move it up over there. And if you go to the Y axis and type 90, it'll flip it for you. And then we're going to move it on the X axis over to the right a little bit. And that gives it that way you can see it better so you can size it right. So we don't need 48 segments, so I'm gonna drop those down. Uh probably about probably 14 or 12. 12 is probably good. And the minor segments we're gonna to go to like eight. And that'll make a nice ring. So the major radius changes how big it is. And then the minor radius changes how wide it is. So we can mess with it like that. I can move it down uh, for the location of the Z, put it where I need it, and check out the size. It's still a little big on the major radius, so I'm going to scale it down and down a little bit on the minor, and then move it back up on the Z. So once we have that, we can just Shift D and make a copy of it, and hit X to constrain it, and just move it over. And that's pretty good. And if you want to, you can right-click Shade Smooth on both of those guys to make them look more circular. Now, we're going to make another cube. And hit 1 on the number pad and move it up. By hitting G, you can move it up. And we're just going to scale it up. Move it down a little bit. And then we can look at it from this view and... We're on the Y axis, so we'll scale it on the Y to make it smaller. That looks pretty good. 
and that's your sign. So if you want, you can make a square sign like this, um, and we can hit both faces with shift and select both sides. And then if you hit I, you can inset it and make yourself a nice little border around it. And if you hit Alt E, you can extrude individual faces. And we're just going to grab them and move them and just drop them. And so there's double faces there. So now we can hit um, Alt S on the Y and scale them in just a little bit. And that'll give you a nice sign like that. If you want some more shape to your sign, you can hit Control R and add some loop cuts. And then. Hit one on the number pad to straighten yourself out in the front view, and I'm going to go Alt Z to go in X ray and one to go in vertex select. And I'm going to grab these two sets so that grabs the front and back. That's why I did that. Um, I'm going to go up to proportional editing and turn it on. The hotkey for that is O, so you can hit O and turn it on and off. And I'm going to change this to sharp. And if I hit B Z and then scale my mouse wheel up to change to influence I can give it some nice shape like that. I'm going to turn proportional editing off by hitting O. Now I'm just going to drag all these and I'm going to move that up a little bit so it's not quite so long. And that gives you a nice looking sign. So my sign's not really proportionate so I'm going to hit tab and grab this part and hit tab again to go into edit mode. And I'm going to grab the whole bottom of it and I'm just going to drag it down because it was not proportionate at all. That looks much more proportionate to me. So that's extruding, beveling, insetting, uh, and what I miss? Extruding, insetting, beveling, and loop cuts. So I'm just noticing my rings are crazy up here, so I am going to grab my sign and I'm just going to hit GZ and pull it down, zoom in on it a little bit, and that looks pretty good. That may be up just a hair. And it's not working out, so I'm going to hit Tab and Alt Z one and I'm going to select the top edge of vertices and I'm just going to drag them up just a hair to give myself some more room go back in object mode GZ move them down and that looks better and back out of x-ray yeah that's much better okay we got our sign modeled up here uh, now let's throw some materials on it so we can give it a little bit of color so I'm going to grab the uh, pole part and go to my little red circle down here for our materials and it already has a material on it I'm just going to turn it brown ish and let's uh, go into material preview or uh, yeah material preview and make it a little darker we'll grab our rings and add a new material here we're going to name this one rings and we're going to name this one also to Wood. Okay, let's jump back to our rings and zoom in on it a little bit. It doesn't have a color yet. Let's make it a little bit grayer. And we'll select this ring. And since we already have the material made, we can click this drop down and just choose rings and it applies it. Uh, let's go to our sign. And for our sign, we're going to have three materials. So I'm going to make hit the plus sign three times and I'm going to take the first one and click new and I'm just going to use the same wood color for it so go to wood you know click the drop down and go to wood and that changes the whole thing to wood this one I'm going to click new and this one I'm going to click new and we'll rename the first one to front and name the second one to back now we can go into edit mode by hitting tab and we can go to face select and select all these faces and go to the front material and just click assign 
and then we can flip around to the back side and select all these materials or faces and go to back and click assign and that takes care of the colors for our sign so now that we have all our materials done we can go ahead and uh, join this together and then uh, export it after we apply our scale and stuff so I'm going to select the post both of the rings and a little sign and before I do that I'm going to make a copy of it so shift D and right click to drop it where it's at hit M for a new collection and we're just going to put it in collection I ah, will make a new one and name it uh, unjoined and click OK and all that goes into the unjoined folder and we'll go ahead and hide it and deselect it so now we can select our pole here and our rings and we can control J to join it all into one piece and we'll name it uh, wah, can't spell sign post and then click our little drop down and if we uh, double click this we can just control C to copy it and then double click this one control V to paste it and now it's named sign post so when you upload to second life it'll be named right uh, go ahead and hit N and we need to check the our size it's a six meter tall pole that's a little big so we'll just hit s and scale it down probably about a meter and a half looks good and our scale is not applied so we're going to click object apply all transforms or if you put it on your q menu it should be in a q menu all transforms so that's set to one so before we export this uh, we need to check our normals, make sure nothing's inside out. So we're going to go back into solid mode, uh, hit our drop down here, and go to face orientation in our overlays panel. And make sure everything's blue. And if it is, you're good to go. If it's not, go ahead and hit tab. Um, to go into edit mode, hit A, and then hit shift N, and that'll recalculate your normals, and anything red should turn blue. And then you can turn off face orientation and I'll jump back into there. And now we can export it. So file export Collada operator presets SO open sim static and that gives you the selection only. I'm going to uncheck the copy uh, textures and I'm going to find my blender folder and go to sign post. Uh, if you don't have one, when you go to your Blender folder, just click this little icon and make a new uh, folder and name it Signpost. So I'm going to put it in the Signpost folder. And it's named down here Signpost, so Export Collada. Okay, so in the Second Life, and we can upload our model. So if we go to Build, Upload, Mesh Model, uh, find your Signpost CAE, double click it, and that will bring up our sign and you can hold uh, left mouse and scroll around and look at it and if you hold control you can you know flip it around too so we need a physics so go to physics tab choose one and we're going to use cube and that'll give us a physics model around our flagpole uh, go back to level of detail I want to turn this down one um, just to lower the land impact a little bit uh, calculate weights and fees and it's coming in at 1.4 land impact and I'm gonna upload and res out my sign post and there it is it's a little big so I can scale it down some uh, okay. scale it down a little bit and that put it at one land impact so that's great Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe if you learned something.